Hi, for today's video, I will show some things on how to manage a Bluetooth connection on your Android and laptop. First, what to do if you cannot find your Bluetooth in your taskbar in your notification area. Click on your start menu, choose and click settings, and after that, click on devices. By default, it will directly open to your Bluetooth and other devices settings. To enable or disable your Bluetooth, drag this button left or right. What if your Bluetooth is already turned on, but still you cannot see its icon in the taskbar and the notification area? Go over this part and click on the More Bluetooth option. Another Bluetooth setting will pop up. Click all the boxes to check it, and then see what's added to your taskbar. Now, what if you want your Bluetooth icon displayed in your Quick Menu options? Right-click on this part here and click Edit. Click Add and choose Bluetooth and click done. You can now see your Bluetooth together with all other icons. Next, how do you pair or connect your Android phone to your laptop via Bluetooth? Follow these steps, right-click on your Bluetooth icon and click add a Bluetooth device. This will redirect you to settings and devices. Click add Bluetooth or other device. An option window pops up. Choose Bluetooth. And also don't forget that you have to turn on your Bluetooth connection in your Android phone also and make it discoverable. After that, you will see a list of devices below. But in my case, we will only see one. Choose the device and click connect. After a few seconds, your device is now connected and is ready to exchange files via Bluetooth and vice versa. To send a file via Bluetooth, right-click your Bluetooth icon and click send a file. Among the shown devices available, select where to send your file. After that, click browse and pick the file from any of your folders. Once you are done, click next. Please wait for a couple of seconds while the file is being transferred. And click finish. file via Bluetooth, right-click your Bluetooth icon and click Receive a file. You should see a file transfer begin as soon as your sender starts transmitting files to your computer from their Bluetooth-enabled device or Android device. Wait for a couple of seconds while the file is being transferred. After that, browse to any location or from any of your existing folders where you want to save your newly received file. Or, you may make a new folder and click Finish. In my case I saved it to my desktop inside the Bluetooth Received folder. Mm -hmm. 
After that, let us now locate our newly transferred file. Let us refresh our desktop and check our file it is was successfully transferred. And yes it's here. I hope you have learned something from this video, thank you very much for watching.